I don't really think of myself as like being a star. I simply do what I love and it just so happens that um, I was very fortunate to make it this far. It's such a great honor to perform um, on the 50th anniversary tour and the pre-tour concerts, especially as an artist from Hong Kong. And I grew up like watching the Hong Kong Phil um, and I performed with them on several occasions, but this is my first tour with them. So I'm performing Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto in E minor for the 3rd of May, and I'm performing the Butterfly Lover's Violin Concerto on the 4th. Those are both very beautiful romantic works. And it will be my first time performing The Butterfly Lovers. I performed Mendelssohn before. I grew up listening to it. It's like such a staple in Chinese classical music. So I really, like, I kind of knew the piece almost by heart already before I even learned it. My grandmother used to tell me the story of The Butterfly Lovers um, when I was young. My mother did not have any classical music background, but I think she learned with me. She brought me to my first lesson. I think she also played with me initially. She dropped out a bit, but she still like, took me to my lessons and took notes. As I grew older, she took me to Europe to study with Professor Braun. The expectations are high. Um, I strive to do well for, to, to do my best for every performance that I have. In terms of navigating them, I think it's just like a daily motivation to um, practice as much and as productive as I can be, especially with the time constraints, um, studying full-time as a college student um, in two different institutes. I like studying music, I like studying, I like the aesthetics of studying. It's all very like fulfilling for me. I have numerous tutors, teachers, mentors guide me through the way. Like over the years, and friends have definitely been very supportive at school, music festivals, like a lot of other students from Hong Kong or children from Hong Kong, I was put into musical instruments uh, from a very young age. I started piano when I was three and violin when I was five. And I also did a lot of other extracurriculars, but violin was what really struck um, and stuck to me. Um, I performed the Mozart concerto um, in A major. A lot has changed since then, and I think I grew as an artist. Um, as, an, as a person, as a student, everything. Um, but it was such a fond memory for me and that was one of the performances that made me want to do this for life. But I stepped on the stage and felt the energy from the audience as well as the orchestra members. And I was just so happy to be there. I think the Zipander, the artist concert, would be the most special. You don't really get to perform outdoors like that in front of an audience of, I believe, 20,000 or something like that. Yeah. I also just find classical music such a soothing and, but also invigorating thing to do. So I love listening to recordings, especially those of like the old masters. Um, I love listening to David Oistrakh and Yasha Heitzitz. I would advise people or others to really go for whatever they believe they have a passion for. I think that what that's what really drives me. I'm just so content that I can I'm able to express myself um, so freely with my violin and that I have the ability to really like communicate to my audience with the instrument.